Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take this geode, cut it in half, and polish it. To start with, we have our geodes. They're frozen in these buckets. And the ice is going to give us something to reference our saw off of. So the first step is to get them out of these buckets. I'm going to take a little bit of water, and if we run that on there, eventually, it, there we go. Now, let's go outside. Anyway, here we go. I have a circular saw with a masonry blade in it, so that's a diamond cutting wheel. And going to go ahead and cut these in half. All right, that went pretty well, although it was super loud. Now, a little bit of water, and we can get them free. I'll take a minute yet. Oh, there we go. And I think one of these actually is a geode, cool. This one didn't cut all the way through. So you can see where my blade was not quite big enough. So we're gonna finish cutting that now. For smaller stones, I can take this angle grinder with a diamond blade, and you can actually just kind of hold these down and slice them right through like that. There we go. So when grinding rocks, you can make little projectiles of stone. So glasses are a must. Next up, this is a dusty part. I'm going to be wearing a respirator just because I don't want to breathe in all of this dust. I'm not quite sure what it's made of, but I'm sure it can't be good. And lastly, it's very loud. So I will be wearing hearing protection. Okay, so you notice there's two blades that I use. This first cutting blade cuts really fast and it can be used to flatten rocks. So if there's a high spot, I can drag it across, kind of nibble away at some high spots. Once the rock is reasonably flat, this is another bit, a masonry bit. It's used for flattening. That will give it a uniform flat surface. It cuts slower, but still quite a bit faster than what we're going to use next. For polishing, I have a 55 gallon polyethylene drum. It has been cut. It is approximately a foot, maybe 13 inches tall. And in the front, you can see where I have cut out this piece. And that allows me to set the polisher in there like that. <clears throat> now, what I have inside of the tub is a lattice. These are basically one inch by one and a half inch slats, various soft woods and cutoffs. And I've simply just made a lattice and it fits snug inside the barrel so it doesn't move around. And then on the top here, I have screwed in 
some blocks to cradle the polisher. This polisher is from Vivor. I got it on Amazon for about $90. And it did come with some polishing pads and also a hose. So for right now, I'm going to set this up to polish some small rocks. Using the cutoff from the barrel, I'm going to put this on the inside because if you put it on the outside, it will drip outside the barrel. This will catch some of the splatter. I have another piece as well, and I will put that on this side. And that will make a pretty nice splash guard. These are the abrasive pads that I will be using. I'm going to start at 50 grit and work my way all the way up to 6,000. I'm going to start with one of the smaller stones. I have a bucket of water and as I polish I'm going to dip it in there to wet it and that will lubricate it as I polish. Now for the last two grits, 3,000 and 6,000, I'm going to start with a little bit of water. and run it dry. And now, so that last little bit there was done dry. And now for 6,000, we're gonna polish without any water. Okay, now it should have a wet look and we can check for any scratches from lower grits. Looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. Looks pretty good. 
All right, so now we're going to convert over to polishing larger rocks. So the rock is supported on either side and I have wedged it in and tightened it down so it's good and solid. This polisher came with some 8 millimeter air hose connectors and the fittings, they're not going to work with anything here in the US. So what I've done, I got an 8 millimeter uh, quick connect that screws onto the polisher. That allows me to plug in this water hose. There we go. And that's watertight. And then I have set up a garden hose adapter. So another fitting for the quick connect. There is an adapter. And this is just a standard garden hose female fitting. And that's just the same thing. Pops right on there. The air hose that it comes with is about eight feet, maybe a little longer. For another $12, I picked up a 30 foot hose and that allows me to more easily reach my water hookup in the shop. I have a quick connect fitting on my utility sink. I will swap between this spray nozzle, which is high pressure, a standard aerator nozzle. And in this case, I put on the quick connect so I can plug in the polisher. So there we go. And we'll turn the water on, no leaks. There we go, no leaks. Something cool now is this is plumbed for water. I will not need to dunk the stone in the bucket or use a spray bottle. Everything will be automatic. So let's turn on the water. We'll go, so that's too much. We'll dial it back to just a trickle. There we go, just a drop. And let's get polishing. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Just finished up with the 6000 polish. Ran it dry. Gets a little warm, but not too hot. That's, that's in there pretty good. Okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. There you are, looks good. All right, there you go. That's a look at my setup for cutting and polishing geodes. And here's a look at the finished product. As always, thanks for watching and till next time.